What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we have with us the new 2020 Shelby GT500. And so today I thought it would be nice to completely go over this one for you guys today, including interior, exterior, startup, some burnouts, of course. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so pricing for the 2020 Shelby GT500 is going to start at $72,900. That is the MSRP. To go along with that 729 MSRP, there are plenty of options available, which I will, of course, touch on in the video. Powering this beast is going to be a 5.2 liter supercharged cross plane crank V8 as opposed to the flat plane crank typically used in the GT350. 760 horsepower at 7300 RPM, 625 pound feet of torque available at 5000 RPM. Supercharger is going to be a 2.6 liter Eaton supercharger which pumps out 12 pounds of boost. Power is sent to the rear wheels through a carbon fiber drive shaft and a torsion limited slip differential. Through a Tremec 7-speed dual clutch. And that's going to be that circular dial in the middle that you may previously remember if you have owned a Ford Fusion in recent years. But nonetheless, that 7-speed dual clutch will come with paddle shifters, which are actually not the same paddle shifters as used in the Mustang GT. In the GT, you have black plastic paddle shifters. These are much more heavy duty. They are larger. They are silver. They do have a much better feel to them. I will say that. But And of course, Tremec being the same company that produced the 6-speed manual found in the GT350 so a very reputable very well-known transmission company there but as far as performance goes 0 to 60 comes in at 3.3 seconds according to Ford quarter mile Ford ported at 10.7 seconds however if you do a quick search on YouTube you'll already see this car from the factory is doing the quarter mile in 10.6 so that is definitely quite exciting there top speed 180 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 12 in the city 18 on the highway. I do want to mention there are some drive modes that come standard on the Shelby GT350, including comfort, normal, sport, and track. And essentially what they are going to do is adjust things like the shift points, throttle response, and the steering sensitivity. And actually, there is also a drive mode for the exhaust sound, which of course will fire up the Shelby a little bit here. You guys will get to hear that, of course, as well. And continuing on a little bit when it comes to acceleration, the transmission is actually capable of shifts in under 100 milliseconds. And if you were to take this to the drag strip, like the current owner of this particular iconic silver GT500 plans to do, there is that standard line lock feature to help you warm up the tires before you actually get going. Also launch control coming standard on the GT500 as well. And all of that is found via track apps and yet another differentiation between the GT500 and the GT. For track apps, there's a button on the steering wheel with the GT. It is the Pony logo, but for the Shelby GT500, it is the Cobra logo. So that is a pretty nice touch there. But once you hit that, you of course can find your zero to 60 timer, quarter mile timer, brake performance, and there's a ton of other stuff. Of course, you could check out up there as well. Nonetheless, let's touch on braking a little bit. That is of course equally important. Up front, you're going to have 16.5 inch ventilated front discs. And by the way, these are two piece rotors with six piston Brembo front cal and by the way, little fun fact for you guys, Ford was actually going to put 19 inch wheels on the Shelby GT500, but couldn't because the rotors were so freakishly large, they had to upsize the wheels to 20 inches. And I'll cover those in a little bit here, but that is a nice little interesting true story for you guys. In the back, 14 and a half inch ventilated rear disc with four piston rear calipers. Touching on suspension and handling a little bit, up front you're going to have a double ball joint McPherson strut front suspension with the tubular stabilizer bar. In the back, an integral link independent rear suspension again with the stabilizer bar also standard is a magna ride damping system which essentially is going to monitor each shock absorber individually not only giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering really giving you the best of both worlds so that is definitely a plus and that's an option on the standard gt of course and of course i can't go without mentioning the carbon fiber track package for the gt500 by the way if you were interested in that that goes for eighteen thousand five hundred hundred dollars essentially the price of a new civic but what that is actually going to include is 20 inch lightweight carbon fiber wheels which weigh approximately 18 pounds each in case you were curious michelin 
Pilot Cup Sport 2 tires, a rear seat delete, carbon fiber GT4 track wing, which everybody loves. It definitely looks amazing back there. Adjustable strut top mounts, splitter wickers, a carbon fiber instrument panel, and Recaro front seats. And by the way, those Recaro front seats are optional without that package if you wanted to go that route too. And since I do own a 2019 Mustang GT, I can tell you as far as the visibility goes, it is definitely on point. Certainly no issues with seeing out that rear view mirror. When it comes to the side mirrors, some people will say they're a little bit small, but let me tell you, you certainly get used to them. So you're definitely not going to have any issues there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the exterior of this beautiful, iconic silver GT500. And let me start up front. Ford says this is the largest Cobra emblem ever put on a Shelby, and it is quite large up there. Definitely makes a statement if you're the car in front of the Shelby looking into your rear view mirror. You're going to know what you're looking at instantly. But also another ist that Ford added to this one, if you will, largest hood vent put on any Ford ever. That includes trucks. That's definitely pretty cool as well. And when it comes to that hood vent, actually, there's an aluminum rain tray underneath that can actually be removed to further reduce under hood pressure. However, if you're planning on daily driving it, perhaps driving it home in the weather that we had today, you're certainly going to want to leave that rain tray in for the time being. But then when you get to the track, of course, just remove it. But Nonetheless, GT500 etched into the black portion of that front bumper to the sides HID headlights with LED signature lighting. And of course, you will get the automatic feature with that, meaning when it starts to get dark out, headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Also, LED daytime running lights will come standard. And there, of course, is Shelby lettering etched into that front splitter, just like the GT350. And one of the cool things about the GT500, also black hood pins, just like Eleanor, of course, favorite movie of all time for myself personally. But as far as opening the hood, since not every car has hood pins, some people might not be familiar with that, of course. There is, of course, your standard hood latch by the driver's side left ankle, let's say. But once you pull that, you just press down on the hood pins, and that's essentially going to unlock it. And then you open it up like any other hood from that point on, basically, and actually uses hood struts as opposed to prop rods. So prop rods found in my 2019 GT. So I thought that was definitely a very nice thing. Finally, Ford put some hood struts on a Mustang. So <laughs> nonetheless, let's go ahead and make our way to the side here. Cobra badging can be found on that front fender. Once again, very large Cobra badging. Black window surrounds, power adjustable, gloss black side mirrors. Looking down at the wheel setup, they are 20 inch flow formed, high gloss black aluminum alloy wheels. That of course is what you're looking at right now. And like I had mentioned, that track pack is gonna give you the carbon fiber and actually it's exposed carbon fiber as opposed to the carbon fiber wheels used in the GT350R. So that's another new feature that Ford is doing with the GT500. But Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, at least with the non-track pack version that you're looking at right now. And make your way to the back, a gloss black rear spoiler. Again, with the track pack, you have the GT4 carbon fiber wing, LED sequential taillights, meaning when you have your turn signal on, it's gonna look like they're sliding from one side to the other. Once again, a large Cobra emblem back there, integrated rear diffuser, a very unique integrated rear diffuser. I haven't seen one like this before and of course to the sides dual exhaust outlets with quad tips so typically at this point i do an exhaust clip but i'm gonna do you guys one better today we will do a startup here real quick but then after that startup we're gonna go ahead and take this gt500 out in the rain and do a couple burnouts for you guys so enjoy <laughs>
And now making your way to the back of this one to go ahead and open that rear trunk. There are actually a few different ways. Of course, you have the button on the key fob that might be the simplest way, but there is actually also a button by the driver's side left knee. And in addition to that, there is kind of a secret button just above the rear license plate. It is a rubberized button. That's probably what I use the most of my own Mustang, but simply just press that. All of those ways you can get that open, but once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 13.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space for you, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. And if you were curious, yes, you can fit a set of four wheels and tires in the back with the seats down. I've done it already, so in case anybody wanted to modify their GT500, but make your way to the rear legroom. That is gonna come in at even 29 inches. There is no way I can ever fit back there, so I'm just gonna say I've put my dog in the back before, but that is about it, so really not a whole lot of space back there. But make your way to the front seat, six-way power adjustable driver seat with power lumbar will come standard. Six-way power adjustable passenger seat, again, coming standard. There is a leather Miko suede combination that will come standard. And Recaro bucket seats are, again, available for the GT500, both coming standard with the track pack and as an option without the track pack. They take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is wrapped in a leather Alcantara combination. Then touching on the startup a little bit, let me first start by showing you guys the key. You do have your Cobra logo on the one side end. When you flip it over, lock, unlock, button to pop the rear hatch and that circular button right there, that is your remote start, of course. But the GT500 does, of course, come with keyless entry and a push button start, meaning as long as you have the key on you in your pocket or whatever, all you need to do is simply walk up to the GT500, put your thumb on those four lines if you wanted to lock it, and then just walk away and it's locked. Or when you come back from wherever you're going, simply just put your hand behind the door. The Shelby's going to detect that the key is on you and then therefore unlock. So that is definitely one of the most convenient features, I will tell you, having owned a 2019 Mustang for over a year now. So it's definitely something I love. But to go ahead and start this one, all I am actually going to do is simply just put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so then once started up, you will find a standard 12 inch LCD digital gauge cluster. So that's definitely pretty cool. And of course, there are a ton of different things you can check out, ton of different layouts you can have as well. And of course, the layouts will adjust based on the driving mode that you're in as well. Well, bunch of different color combinations you can adjust up there. There's primary color, secondary color, so many different options really with any digital gauge cluster. It's basically one of the best things about it. It's completely customizable. So absolutely love that. Touching on overall interior quality a little bit, dual zoom climate control will come standard. Aluminum foot pedals also standard. Home link controls, that's definitely nice. Ford Performance scuff plates when you first get in the GT500. Miko suede door accents to go along with the seating, of course, and interior trim, actually. That suede is found quite a bit in this interior of the GT500 here. Again, somebody's gonna ask it, but no sunroof is available for any Mustang, of course. And overall, interior quality is perfectly fine for me. There are some optional accents that you can go with, like the carbon fiber accent package that this particular one is outfitted with, so that is definitely a plus as well. I did like seeing that. But overall, it is definitely finished quite nicely for a car that goes for around $80,000. But now let's make our way to the tech display. Eight inch colored touchscreen will come standard, AKA Ford Sync 3 system. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard with that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Shelby. Therefore you have free navigation as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs. There's a couple other compatible apps there as well. Did wanna also mention there is a technology package available for an additional $3,000. That is gonna give you a factory navigation system if you wanted it. Well, you really don't need a factory navigation system with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. But in addition to that, that package is also gonna add memory settings for the seating, heated side mirrors with integrated turn signals, LED puddle lights projected from the door, that's pretty cool, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, that's definitely a plus as well, and a 12 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system with a subwoofer located in the trunk. That is currently what you're looking at right now, but we'll say the standard sound system does come with nine speakers, but of course we do have the technology package here in our GT500 that we have today. So that of course is definitely gonna be the better setup for you. But so the last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the GT500 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. 
And so when it comes to safety, front side, side curtain airbags, driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children in case you wanted to strap your kids in the back of the GT500. Auto dimming rear view mirror also comes standard. And of course, with that technology package, you have the optional blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. And so, but that is about it for this one. You guys, a little different setup than I'm used to doing, but typically I drive the cars that are not yet sold, but with this one being sold, you know, still didn't want to miss this opportunity, but nonetheless, feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, if you like, so you can see all the pictures of the Shelby GT500 that I already posted on there. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.